Hello everyone. Today I'm talking about how you can get free audio conferencing in Microsoft Teams. Providing a call-in number for your meetings is a great way to make sure that everyone, all your attendees, can get into your meeting. That's why adding a dial-in number to your Teams meetings is a great idea. Well, announced October 12th, 2020, Microsoft is providing a free dial-in conferencing phone number for all of your Teams meetings. This is a free one-year trial, so it only lasts a year. You do have to go claim it, and you have to claim it before March 31st of 2021. But once you do claim the license, you can then assign it to a user. You do have to claim a license for every user that you want to have a dial-in number for when they're organizing a meeting. Okay, it's just for the organizers. So let's kind of do a demo here to show you how all of this works, okay? So I have a user here who does not have audio conferencing in. So when this user goes to add a meeting, I have a meeting, I'm gonna add the online meeting for Teams meeting and then I'm gonna save it, okay? Just to show you that when I open this up, I do not have a call-in number, but I want this user, Dorothy Thomas, to have call-in capability. So how do I do that? Well, I first go to the admin.microsoft.com as a tenant administrator. I have access to this. I go to under billing and purchase services. Now. If you scroll through here or even use the search function to find audio conferencing, you're not gonna actually find it. It makes it a little difficult to find because it's an add-in. So we just go to the very bottom and you'll see add-ons here. So click there, scroll down, and the first one you'll see that you might think, oh, maybe this is it, is the Microsoft 365 audio conferencing. Well, that actually is the correct one. However, that's the paid one, okay? It is $4 per user per month. If I keep scrolling, you will see the Microsoft 365 Audio Conferencing Adoption Promo. If I click on that, it tells me that uh, it is free, so I can get it now. When the page loads, I will see that it is indeed $0 per user per month. How many users do I want to utilize this service? I can add the number of users that I want to add. I'm just going to add, um, uh, I'm going to add about five here, but I'm going to assign one of those to Dorothy. And I'm going to uncheck the automatically assigned to all your users with, a, with no license. Now, this is a way that you could go ahead and get a license for everyone. Check that box and it'll auto assign the licenses to your users. I'm going to click check out now and place my order. Once the order has been placed, it will let us know, hey, it's done. And you can go ahead and assign this subscription to your users. So I'm going to click that. Go to my users, find Dorothy, and assign this license to Dorothy. Click on the user, go to licenses and apps, and we'll see the Microsoft 365 audio conferencing will be available. And there it said five of five licenses because that's how many I just ordered. And I'm gonna click save changes. All right, the changes are saved. So I can go ahead and close out. Now that Dorothy has the license, she will be able to schedule Microsoft Teams meetings that'll have a dial-in number for all the attendees to join in. If they can't use a, their desktop or their mobile phone application, they will be able to just dial in um, to the meeting. If this is the first time you have assigned an audio conferencing license, then you will need to select a phone number to be added to your service. You do that by going to the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, go to Voice, and then under Phone Numbers. I will not cover how to do that in this video, 
but I will add a link down below so you can get all the information from docs.microsoft. Once you do have your phone number, you can go to the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, click on the Legacy Portal down on the bottom left, then click on Voice in the left-hand navigation, select the phone number, and then click Assign. Once you do this, you can assign this phone number for the use of your conferencing. And that's it. We can sign up for free audio conferencing for our Microsoft Teams meetings simply by following these instructions. Remember, if you haven't used audio conferencing in your tenant yet and you don't have a phone number, follow the link down below to find out all the information you need on docs.microsoft. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been informative to you. Please subscribe down below to get notifications of all my new videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.